Wi-Fi mesh with Taki. Taki issues mesh devices if our primary router isn't capable of covering your entire home with Wi-Fi. This can resolve issues in larger homes or in homes made of non-Wi-Fi friendly materials, such as brick. Additionally, these devices can be helpful for getting Wi-Fi to a basement area or second dwelling. They're extremely flexible and can be connected via Ethernet or wirelessly depending on where they are positioned. Occasionally, customers will need to mesh their own hardware or re-configure a previously installed mesh. Installing your own mesh is usually only necessary if you picked up a mesh device from our office and want to install it yourself. Reconfiguring or remeshing a device is usually only necessary if the mesh device was offline for a period of time and has lost sync with the main router communicating to it. Or if the main router is misconfigured. Luckily, the app which is available on Android or iOS makes this process easy. Let's get started. First, let's open the Google Play Store. If you have an iPhone, you'll use the Apple App Store. This will also work on tablet devices. Once you have the Play Store open, let's use the search function to find the Nokia Wi-Fi app. Install the app. Make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi going forward to do this correctly. Now let's tap on open, or you can do as we do here and locate it in our app tray to open it. Give the app a second to load, then tap on get started. Tap get started once again to agree to the terms. If this is your first time logging in, the app will prepare your router for use with the app. After a brief moment and again, for only first-time app users, you'll need to scan the QR code on the bottom of your main router. Don't get this confused with the mesh you are adding. After scanning the QR code, the app will take a few more moments, then bring you to an overview page of your network it could find. Tap Next. Next, the app will show you your current Wi-Fi information, including your network name and password. Here's a good chance to change that by tapping the pencil icon. It's definitely recommended that if you want to do this, you do it before adding your mesh. We'll be leaving ours as is in our example. So we'll tap finish here. Now we're at the main landing page of the app. As you can see, we have two Wi-Fi points already. A main router and a mesh, but we're actually going to add a third Wi-Fi point to this network to cover a very large area. Tap Wi-Fi points. We can see here our main router and our other mesh are working correctly. Now let's click add Wi-Fi point to add a third. It's recommended when first connecting a mesh to use Ethernet. This will allow the main router to get the mesh going as soon as possible and we can move it later. Tap Ethernet. Let's connect our Ethernet cord into a yellow port on our main router following the instructions. Go back to your Nokia Wi-Fi app and tap Next. Now let's connect our Ethernet cord into the blue port on the device, we want to make a mesh device. Confirm it's powered on by looking at the indicator light. This one looks good to go. 
Go back to the app and tap it's powered on. In the next few minutes, we'll see our new mesh device in our Nokia app. However, in this instance, we want this mesh to function wirelessly, not wired as it currently is. Let's tap the Wi-Fi point we want to reposition. We can confirm this is the correct one to be repositioning, since it's the only one hooked up with Ethernet currently. It's worth noting it's not uncommon for the device to disconnect for a brief period as you see here upon first configuration. The devices have many changes to apply and this disconnect slash reboot applies those. Now, let's move the mesh. Go ahead and unplug its power and the Ethernet cable you use to program it, and plug it in at its new location, with or without the Ethernet cable. We're doing it without the Ethernet cable in our example. Be careful not to hit the on-off switch near the power plug. Return to the app and scroll to the top of the page and tap the three dots in the top right. Tap Reposition. Tap Next. The app is now ready to test the mesh's new position. Tap Start Test. The app will let you know if where you placed the mesh is optimal. In our example, we're too close to the main router. So we'll move it even further and test again. Now that our test is good, we'll tap Next. Confirm the mesh has a light indicator that it's on in its new location. Go back to the app and tap It's Powered On. All done. Tap Done and you've now programmed a new mesh and also repositioned it to a better spot in your home for the best Wi-Fi coverage. The device will show offline for a moment while the app best configures it for its new spot then it'll come back online and be ready for use. Thank you for watching. Please email us at sales at talkiefiber.com for any problems or concerns.